YouTube! Um, right, first things first, <laughs> if you've been assembling the Proteus according to my uh, instructions, you know that part where I said I found Forge World and they told me these bits go here? I put them on and looked at them and they just did not look right. Um, so I Google searched a couple of images of the Proteus and found out I'd done them wrong. So what I have here for you today is uh, my base coated paint and the first thing I'm going to point out is again the latest bit that needs changing. So I'll take that off the top. These bits on the front here, I had originally put on as though they hooked out and up. They don't, they go over the top like that, so they follow the, the line of the plate. Uh, zoom in to show you, no, in, there. They follow the line of the armor plating, they don't come out and hook up, so I had to redo those. But um, yeah, obviously, the big change you can see there, put that back to square, is the tracks on, which wasn't there before. Um, the track fits really nicely, uh, comes in several uh, separate bits and obviously you put it in together. Uh, so base coated, all Necron Abyss, took a couple of coats um, to get a nice smooth even colour. Um, I found a spot on the bottom here, you can see that big shiny patch where it's reflecting the light. Um, didn't clean that too well and particularly in this patch here the paint just kept coming off and coming off and coming off. Um, so well, that's why it's a bit shiny there, that's been uh, treated to several more layers of paint and specific sprays of purity seal and then several more layers of paint. Uh, but it's on there. So underside, the front, the windows and the viewports put in, hatch on the top, all in, the melter on the top at the moment, like I say I'll magnetise that so I can pop the melter on, or the heavy bolter, depending on what I want it to do. Uh, the engine on the back, only very quickly base coated um, with the exhausts on there. Same again on the sides, picked out the panels just to give it a little bit to look at. The doors, um, I do know it has got the eightfold star behind it, but quite frankly, I cannot be bothered to take a Dremel to these little bits behind the wings. So, uh, a little bit of artistic license. I know it's pre heresy, but eventually it is going to be a heretic tank. The sponsons still spin, brassed out a little there. I'm very tempted to say nuts to the magnets and just stick these on because it's coming on and off. The little locator nubbins on the back here, um, as you can see, are tearing the paint up there. And what I don't want is the paint to flake all the way to the edges and then across. So I'm very tempted just to uh, stick that in place and just leave it because it's just going to make more sense to me. And you can also see that I've picked out all of the treads, all of the rivets and zoom in a little bit more to a wheel edge there. I went over all the wheels as well so you can see inside of the wheel silver where it would be, where it would be metal and the rubber tread is blacked out where it goes onto the tyre. So that's the base coating. Uh, what I need to do now, quite obviously, is uh, weather it down. Um, I'm going to put a couple of uh, bullet holes and dings and scrapes and some armour chipping, paint chipping on the edges. Um, and then wash it down, badder black the whole thing. Um, all of my equipment, like my contemptors, my rhinos, the uh, Land Raider here, won't have the lightning effect put on. I'm saving that just for the armor. But um, that currently is the Proteus. And I'm gonna get all of this done before I actually get around to putting the, the cannons on the sponsons. So next video will be the uh, Proteus all weathered. I'm putting the melter back on because I like the melter better. Uh, yeah, we'll be all weathered down, battle damaged up and uh, won't be with uh, the weathering powders. I'm going to get it done and sorted before I put the weathering powders on because I can see that being pretty messy. But it'll be good fun. Anyway, that's the Proteus as it stands at the moment. Um, it is a bit of a beast. And like I say, once it's all done, I can show you what it looks like next to Rhinos and current era and original uh, Land Raiders. Thanks for watching guys, uh, just a short video update on that one really, and uh, yeah, thanks and I'll see you in the next one, bye!